Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 43. With me, Mr. Silly P. The egg pallet was nearly full. The price was pretty good, but was starting to drop. So I thought, you know what, I'll get rid of it now because obviously if I speed up time to get rid of the last of the sugar beet processing that, that could fill up. And I mean, I could have just put another cage in there as well, but I thought I'll get rid of it now um, and then reset it, hopefully for the morning. I am clearing out all the digestate as the sugar beet is processing. Every scrap of digestate that comes out, I'm selling it straight away so that when we get to the end of the process, it's done and dusted. And don't worry, it's nearly done and dusted. When we get to midnight, we see what we've earned today, um, and then I'll clear the rest of it. So hopefully by morning, it will all be done. No more sugar beet. I definitely bit off more than I could chew. It's taken me ages, but there's only going to be about another minute of this and then it'll all be over, don't you worry. Not bad, money's gone up. I was only getting 70,000 earlier in the day, so now it's up to 74,000 per load. Not knocking it. It's the corn curse. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the corn curse. This is mad. Right, you'll be pleased to know, as I am, that all the sugar beet's done. It's processed, it's gone through, all the digestate has been sold. We're up to 2,707,284. As you saw at midnight, nice big payout. But we're due another big payout because obviously anything I processed after midnight, we won't get paid until tonight at midnight. I've come back over to the farm and this morning fed the animals, gone through. I've got through to 10.22. It started raining about 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, according to the weather forecast yesterday, it wasn't supposed to rain. Weather forecast this morning for the day said it was going to rain at 9 o'clock. Well, it started at about 6, carried right on through 9 o'clock. It's supposed to be clear after 10. Um, if we go across the weather... Yeah, 9 o'clock it says there. By 12 it's not supposed to be raining anymore. But our crops need to be clear. Um, so everything got brought back over. As you can see, I've got another full load of manure. I've got about another 50,000 litres of milk which need to be sold. Uh, you saw... Uh, yeah, eggs have been done. Yeah, I did the eggs last night, so I've got another four boxes. I've got a bit more there, but not a huge amount. So this will sit here now, waiting until we've got more manure. This will go down to the... Um, BGA and then we'll get a bit of digestate from that not a huge amount but we will get some compared to the sugar beet stuff uh, fed all the animals and I have run out of pig food that 79,000 litres I initially bought for about 22 grand which was a brilliant price I've run out of so I'm going to need to go and get some more pig food um, and oh yeah this is everything as well once it started raining I noticed out in the field that my vehicles were all cleaned again now I I thought when I started playing FS19 after 17, we had a few bits of rain and the vehicles didn't seem to clean. I thought, oh, that's a bit, yeah, it's gone. That said, if you remember, if you've watched all of these, this thing was filthy. So I thought, you know what I'll do? While I'm doing all the other jobs, I'll just bring the Lexian out into the yard and let the rain clean it. <laughs> but it has. It's saved me using the jet wash, so that's nice and clean. Um, that can go away. What I should have done was bought, yeah, if you look under the cover here, this is still under cover. And it's still filthy. So what I suppose I could do while it's raining is drag that out. Let that clean as well. Might as well while I'm doing it. So let's put this away. This is going to be needed for the harvest. And I think I'm going to get some harvest help. Because uh, I want to clear it as quickly as possible before we get any more bad weather. So once the rain stops and once the crop has dried enough. I don't know how long that's going to take. 
we are going to be on a mad dash to the finish. Um, we've got corn to clear off this field. This is what I mean about the corn curse. Last year I had to silage all this, chaff it, um, because we got to a point we were going to risk losing the crop. Um, this year, we check on the map, go across one, growth, all our fields are ready. All of our soybean here, all of our soybean here, 11 and 6 have both got corn on, all ready to harvest, can't do a thing with it till the rain stops. So, kind of a bit stuck at the moment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take that manure, um, we'll get rid of that, um, then I'll probably do the digestate, or I might do the milk, yeah I'll do the milk first. So I'll take the, the manure, come back with the truck, take the tanker, I'll take the milk round and we'll get rid of that, then I'll take the tanker down, we'll get rid of the digestate. Um, hopefully by the time I've done those jobs the rain may have stopped. I don't know, fingers crossed, we'll just see how we go. Oh yeah, pig food. So what I'll do is I'll take this while I'm down there, because I'll be right down by the BJ, I'll come back um, with pig food. So I'm not wasting a trip backwards and forwards. I'll be right down by the biogas plant anyway. So uh, yeah, a few bits and bobs, get it done. And then we'll get the harvest sorted. So. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, hopefully, the harvesting will all be done. Fingers crossed. Right, it's coming on the pig food vendor. Let's fill this up. Vendor, vendor. Is that what I hit a collision somewhere. Right. Pig food it is. Thank you very much. Let's get that sorted out. While I'm doing that, uh, what we will do is then check the price for milk. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good price down at the uh, at our little vending machine. 2031 and coming up. I'll take that. It has gone as high as 3,000 and something, but I didn't have any milk at that point, but it's <laughs> always the way in. Let's see what this costs. It should be about 22 grand. I'm pretty sure that's what we paid last time. The manure I've just dropped off at the biogas plant is being processed. When we take the digestate from that, that's more than going to cover the cost of our um, pig food we're buying now. So it's all working out rather nicely. I cannot go over the money for that, that sugar beet. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a lot of work. That um, The sugar beet harvest that we leased, I think when we returned it, we were five and a half hours of use on that. So that had done five and a half hours of actual harvesting. And then we did 24 hours, pretty much, of processing sugar beet. We had that, that processor running constantly with the belts, constantly going, constantly filling it up. I'm pretty sure 24 hours, maybe just over 24 hours. Um, so yeah, it took a while, but the payout, you know, it was well worth it, I suppose, at the end of the day. That's the way I look at it. Nice payout. So that's where we're at. What do we do now, though? That's the thing. I think after the harvest, I said that was my target, to get the harvest done. Am I going to just move on and leave this to sell to another farmer who wants to buy it as an ongoing concern? Or do I sell everything? Or do I see how much money I've got tied up in it all? Do I sell all my animals off? What do I do? Twenty-two thousand one hundred nineteen for 79,000 litres. Not bad at all. Get this back, feed the animals, uh, or this top them up, and the rest will go into the silo. Then sell the milk and wait for the rain stop. It'll be a hurry up and wait situation, I think.
It's nearly quarter past two in the afternoon. The rain has stopped. The crops have dried. We're good to go. Um, I'm bringing the Lexion over here to field 13. I'm going to get this cracking on here. Um, and then our helper... I say our helper. You obviously see the money's gone down. The money went up. <laughs> we sold the milk. I uh, sold the digestate that we'd produced um, by selling the manure. All of that. The money went up. And then I thought, you know what? We've got the money. Let's go out with a bang. Let's get the harvest done. Get it cleared up. So I bought another harvester. I bought another header. I've leased a corn header. When we come to doing the cornfields, this one is going to do field six because there's a narrow gap in the wall to get to it or you can go in through the sheep field which is a narrow gate i don't even know if this will go through it should do this is certainly narrower than the other harvester <laughs> so um potentially this might have to do that field although there is a gap in the hedge over by the workshop so we could get in off the main road but anyway so i'm thinking um foldable um capello corn headers would be the order of the day for doing that so I don't have a corn header. Let's fold that up. And let's get this soybean done. I don't know what we're going to make on it, but... I mean, to be fair, I could keep the soybean, and if we get the corn off the field, then we... I've oh, just bought a load of pig food. <laughs> I was going to say we could use it for pig food, but... And off we go. I'm going to stick with this one just while we up this side because obviously there's a little bit of a thing with the tunnel it doesn't like the um uh, there's like a collision and it gets a little bit funny so i might have to manually take over for doing that bit over there but are we actually going to get a corn harvest done this year incredible that's why i want to get the soybean done as quick as possible before it rains again or it gets dark or you know something ridiculous happens we shall see so the soybeans are coming off really well. Um, the header I've got for the other harvester is the air bar one, the Crary Wind System, which is designed specifically for, or not specifically, it's designed for things like beans, peas, that kind of thing. Um, because often when they go in through the headers, they can split and break, and, you know, that blower system is supposed to help with that as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's no point... You know, I can't hide the fact <laughs> we've got one of the new John Deere S700 series and I've gone with the Crary uh, wind system header because it's in the thumbnail, I would imagine. And you just saw it going on the road. Again, it all comes down to editing. I'm, not, I'm never quite sure when I'm doing the episode how I'm going to edit it together. So in my head I think, oh, I could do this, I could do that. I know I've mentioned it before and you're never quite sure. Um, so you think, oh, I could be secretive and I could be whatever, and then, like an idiot, I go and make the thumbnail that shows you exactly what I'm doing. But anyway, regardless of that. So we've got two big old harvesters. This one's running at 18,000 litre capacity, and I've gone for the big old, the big top, you know, grain thing that runs at tw over 22,000 litres on the other one. So two nice big harvesters. So, this can now crack on. I need to go and get that one onto the field, or the multiple fields. We've got 7, 8, 9 and 10 that we're going to clear with the other one. Uh, I've got the lorry will come out with the trailer to do one of these, and then I think I'm going to use the class with the two Flegel bulls to do the other one. Whichever one, it doesn't matter which way around. I don't know what yield I'm going to get off both of these. But we should be alright. Uh, what are prices looking like for soybean at the moment anyway? I don't really know. Pretty ropey actually. Although, I have one of these things takes soybean, doesn't it? 1.6. Okay, so yeah, our, um, our farm shop one I think is paying out the best. Those sale points are working out really well. Yeah, one, 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 one. Isn't it weird? The soybean was, it was kind of really a, a very lucrative crop. It's not that much better on here. One, one. Yeah, it's one six at that one. So we'll use that. Right. Let's go and get the other one going. You see how much wider this thing is? 
It's an absolute beast. Gone for the fancy tracks. Although these are the narrow ones. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but they are the narrow ones. The big old uh, fixed container on the top. And the uh, Crary wind system. What I will do, because this is on a header trailer. Let's put it there. Disconnect that. I really don't know if this actually makes any difference, but it sounds brilliant. I love it. <laughs> sounds like my PlayStation, you know. Often when you can hear the fans spooling up in the background. Right? Oh, yeah. It's because it's, it's cause the top's open already. It throws me. Go. The beauty with Jim's maps, like I said, right from the word go, and I think a lot of people are finding on no man's land, is that um, the slot count being fairly low, and he always manages to optimise them as best he can, has meant that the entire way through this series. I haven't had a problem with slots whatsoever. I think even getting this, and this was like 49 slots, I think, for this one, um, which is up there. I'm still only on around 900. I don't think I've gone over 1,000 slots yet, and I've got a load of equipment. My yard's getting a little bit laggy, I've noticed, driving in and out there because of how much stuff I've got in and around the yard with that building in the middle as well now. Um, and yeah, not had a problem with slots at all. So when the old uh, MN Millennial Farmer map comes out, I think everyone, if any, whoever watches it, if, you've, if you watch Zach's channel, um, there's going to be a lot of John Deere equipment being used. We do need some John Deere rippers and cedars and that kind of stuff, like big old planters, and I think that's something we need. Um, having this head is a nice step towards that, if you want to run down that route, it's the type two, of course. So this will do the same then. If I finish on field 13 before this finishes on these, which I think it probably will, I'll bring the Lexin over here and we can have a double harvester uh, situation. But I'm just going to run a strip all the way around the outside just for aid, so that when I've set a worker off I don't have any problems with hedges and trees and anything else that might be in the way. And this is the culmination of all that work, clearing these fields, um, ploughing them all out, all the extras, was to get to this point, so that when this harvest was ready, and like I said, right from starting off with seasons, is um, it's that patience thing. You know, you're only getting one crop, maybe two if you're lucky, out of a season, out of an entire year. You know, that like a proper harvest. Whereas with the regular game, you can bounce quite quickly through crops. Um, Seems to be yielding alright, we're doing okay. Oh, check me off the ball, I was too busy looking at the auger. Got my Thunderbird 2, had to have a 2 on it. Has to be done. I mean, this is good, don't get me wrong, but it's when I do the corn, that's when I'm going to have a bigger smile on my face. It's sad, I know. It's 
what I've been working to, to, towards. Oh, the old uh, cedars, planters, the horse ones have been doing the dance of the sugar plum cedars. One of them has turned completely through 90 degrees in that shed. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh dear, it's mad. Right then. Oh, help Jay is nearly full grain tank. I need to start getting some vehicles over there and get it sorted. And we are late on, we're going to lose the light fairly soon. So I really do need to crack on with this.
The harvesters have gone off to collect the corn headers. The soybean harvest for year two is done. Between the two trailers, I think we've got 97,000 litres, I think it works out at. And this does take soybean. There we go. Just leaves the corn. Okay, that was weird. There we go. About 150 grand. 160 grand? That's brilliant. Soybean has paid out nicely. So what we'll do is get these. Uh, I think I might just use this one actually. I don't think we're going to get a massive amount of corn. I've left the other Flegel ball over by field 11. Just over the other side of the windmill. This one will go over to field 5. And we'll put the truck away. I've been having to move the yard around a little bit. Um, because the, the new... Or the new header had to have a home so um, what I've done is uh, move the tanker over and put the second header trailer underneath that drive through building there uh, we'll put this back in the barn and I think what we'll do is have one harvester in one of the big barns and the other harvester in the other provided we can fit under the door it should do so uh, yeah corn next and that'll be the harvest done for year two Next step, corn. This is the Capello Quasar H16 header, 12 metres. This is going to make a very light work of this, I hope. I, shouldn't, I, mean, I don't think the yield's going to be... I mean, the fields are prepped as, as, well, as, as good as they can be, but they're not very big fields. So <clears throat> I did think about using the new headers, the corn headers that came with this harvester. Um, but I wanted to fold in one because it's easier to get down the road and that kind of thing. I don't have to worry about a header trailer and that kind of thing. So just thought that would be a little bit easier. So we'll let the uh, John Deere plug away here on field 11. And then we'll get the uh, class over onto um, field 5. Actually, it's not going to be too bad, is it? Two and a half thousand for a strip. Just over. Okay, right, let's sort the Lexion out. I'm coming at field five down the road on this one. I need to watch out for lampposts, fast moving bakery trucks, <laughs> and. But there is an entrance just here that we should be able to get through. Let's open that up. Yes, okay, it's just rude, isn't it? We'll get going here as well. This is just a pride thing now. This is just down to the fact that I didn't do the corn harvest last year. It's got nothing to do necessarily now with feeding the pigs or anything because I bought pig food um, this is simply down to I want to get a corn harvester <laughs> so nah, why not whatever you do whatever map you play on you're going to set yourself targets you're going to set yourself whatever it is you want to achieve on that map you know and this I knew I wanted to do in year two I was, when it started to pour with rain I really didn't think it was all going to go to pieces again but we have lifted the corn curse. We're okay. 
Why is that car still tooting? I'm not on the road anymore, you muppet. Right. Corn harvest. Let's get it done. I think I do like about this John Deere. Can bring my own harvest back from the field with me. That's it. Corn harvest is done. 3.36. Late autumn. What I'll do is pop that there. Now what I've got to see is whether or not I can get this in this building here. Should be able to. Yeah, we've got enough headroom. Excellent. Right. So, John Deere goes in there. Thank you very much. That worked out brilliantly. Alexium. We'll go back in here. Just wait for more rain and I'll get it back out again. Over the winter, some uh, repair work and maintenance, I suppose, would be the order of the day. That will do for the time being. Put that away. Both fields, interestingly, almost yielded the same, which was I was quite surprised about that. Uh, Field uh, 5, 6, yielded 25,250. And the other one yielded 24 something, I think. So, yeah. Not bad at all. Corn harvest done. Pride intact. <laughs> Let's put it into storage. Which was also my intention. Just get that first. go <coughs> so I've been giving this some thought and we have come to the end of the episode pretty much apart from a little couple of odds and ends we've also come to the end of the series this is where I'm going to stop this is what I intended to do I wanted to get those harvests done I know I've said it a few times now I'm probably sick of me saying it this was my challenge this is what I wanted to do from our beginnings over at the workshop with a truck and trailer transport jobs all the way through up to what we've got now what we've achieved the amount of money we've got um, what I will do just at the end of the episode probably kind of where you get a bit of bonus you know bonus footage the bonus footage at the end will be us clicking over midnight and seeing what we earn that will give us our total for the farm for the entirety of the Let's Play, um, we're what 43 episodes in. Um, I've had a blast on Sussex Farms. I, you know, I, I've made no bones about it. I love Jim's maps. I love what Jim does. He's a great guy. And um, yeah, we've. I mean, we've built up. What we've we got now? Four tractors running. 
we've got the lorry we've got tankers we've got trailers we've done transport jobs we've got the van um, we've got chickens that are producing fantastically we've got our pigs I mean pigs what are we up to with our pigs 486 pigs 84 cows we've got 42 cows we've doubled our cow herd uh, the sheep produced brilliantly right from the outset we've made money on all of them let's be honest we've done really well I'm not going to sell anything off this is going to stay as it is kind of mothballed I guess um, this is where we got to this is where I got to with the farm this is where it stops I'm not going to sell everything off because I might come back to it I might want to play it off screen because I put a lot of time into this one I put a lot of time into all of them but I just think what we've built up to especially running seasons as well when seasons came out I was very dubious and wasn't sure how all the animal things worked and how complicated it was going to be admittedly I just did the pigs bought them went right the way through farrow to finish you know I didn't do farrow to feed a feeder to finish anything like that just right the way through they've been prolific they've been great with the manure we've made money off selling them we've done fine absolutely fine the milk from the cows has been incredible the manure production has been awesome um, yeah absolutely fantastic um, so there we go I mean that's that's it we're done um, I always get this at the end of a series especially when you know when we've done a long run on them you kind of get a little bit you don't want it to end but it has to at some point we've got a lot of machinery we've got a lot of equipment got a lot of hours in so what I'm going to do is head across the road this is where it all started off we had this little bit of land we had some vehicles some machinery all from here then we gradually brought things up to where we are now hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>